Turn up to this one, 30 RERP, showing three bar of pressure, boiler's not even firing. Gonna flick the power off. Gonna whip out this new booklet I'm in the middle of designing. It's not available yet, so you can't buy it. It's not part of the other one either. So, combi boiler systems. Combi boiler excess pressure fault explained, so there's a bit of information about what it is. And then there's a fault finding flow chart as well. Gonna isolate flow and return. That's what F and R stand for in the flow chart. And do the two boiler screws to whip the case off. And do that screw to pop the flap down. So once you've isolated flow and return, Drain the boiler. There's a boiler still display excess pressure. No, it doesn't. If it did, then you'd replace the pressure gauge. Check expansion vessel hose is clear. So on this one, it's not a hose, it's a copper pipe, but we'll disconnect it here. It's a fiber washer. Pull the pin underneath, wiggle it and pull it out. Once it's free, I'm going to wash it under the sink just to check that it's completely free. Bit of rusty water. Recharge expansion vessel, leave pump connected for five minutes once pressure is achieved. So I'm going to use my Regan electric pump. So much easier than a hand pump. I've had it for like two years now and it's still going strong. Hasn't let me down. Touch wood. pump in just proves how flat the expansion vessel was now i've achieved one bar and it's holding i'm just going to leave it there for five minutes come back five minutes later still on one bar so the internal diaphragm is good remove the gauge and bubble the schrader valve again using more regan products just the normal ldf spray it on the schrader that's good nothing wrong there To repressurize boiler open and flow and return, fire boiler, is the pressure still rising? Yes it is, and it rose before I even fired the boiler. So next step, disconnect filling loop, is the filling loop passing? This filling loop's nice and easy, just turn the key, pull it out, there's no water there so it's not passing. So what we're left to change now, according to the flow chart, is replace plate heat exchanger. I haven't videoed me changing it because there's several videos on my YouTube of this. But I also changed the PRV as well for good practice because the water's pretty rusty. From where the plate's been penetrating the pressure through from the mains to the heat inside. Once that's all done, I'm going to repressurize the boiler open flow and return again. Set the boiler to max rate to give it optimum testing. Uh, 
Ash is holding steady at one and a half bar. Another one complete. Happy days.